This week on Handyman Corner, we're going to make a little project here. It's going to make it real popular with the kids, and that's for sure. We're going to build our very own air hockey game. Yeah, you got two basic principles on that. You got holes, and you got wind going through them. We've all been there, haven't we? <laughs> all right, the first thing you need for this is uh, a couple of dryers. You can pick these up at a garage sale, or if you stay up late at night, you can hoist a couple out of a laundromat. <laughs> but by golly now, I wouldn't advise that. Sure, the dryers are free, but the quarters to keep them running will eventually break you. <laughs> All right, now what you gotta do with these units is you gotta plug up the exhaust on them so that the air will go where you want it to go. And the, the vent is in the back here. I would suggest that you uh, plug her up with, say, a ball or even a small house plant. <laughs> Actually, these units already have a fair amount of lint built up in there. That'll do the job for us. Somebody must have dried a cat in there. <laughs> All right, now you wanna push these dryers together and then keep them together using the handyman secret weapon, duct tape. There's always one in there. <laughs> so that's where they go. Of course, now hockey is a real physical game, you know, with the slap shots and the cross checking and of course the inevitable fist fights. So make sure you really horse these babies down. <laughs> Okay, now remember that we plugged up all the exhaust vents on these. So now we gotta punch some holes in the top for us so the air will blow up. Not, not blow up, boom, blow up. <laughs> this could take a little longer than I thought. Boy, you know, that, uh, that's a little rougher than what I... I know what you do now, of course, is you add another layer on that. <laughs> okay, our new surface now is going to be a pegboard. Probably find a hunk of this hanging over your workbench. I've used it all that much anyhow. Actually, you know, I dated a girl named Pegboard. She ended up marrying a real tool. All right, when you put the pegboard on there, make sure you got the smooth side up. This is what they call good one side. Come to think of it, so was the girl I dated. <laughs> all right, we got her all set here. I got a jar lid, that's gonna be my puck. And I got a couple of cereal bowls to hit it with. So we're all ready to go. And the beauty of using the dryer, of course, is you got the timer on here, so you got your official game time. You even get a buzzer, it goes off when the game's over. And you know you can be any team that you want. Heck, if you want to be a European team, just set her on delicate. <laughs> so remember, women don't find you handsome. They should at least find you handy. Now, if you'll excuse me, it's hockey night in Canada. Wow, my first breakaway. Hey, Red Green here with a brand new one-man show. That last one wasn't a complete disaster, so we've decided to try it again with new stories, new jokes, new advice, and whatever else it is that I do. It's the How to Do Everything Tour, and it's going to start right here in Canada this coming fall. So get a couple of tickets for yourself, or you know, it would make a dandy gift for a friend or a relative. To get all the details, go to redgreen.com and click on the How to Do Everything Tour. Meanwhile, keep your stick on the ice.